Hello, this is Slingshot120, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I wanted to say a couple cars that I feel like Forza Horizon 4 could add that could beat the 599XX Evo in top speed. But before we start, I just want to say there are four cars that in real life could beat the 599XX. And then I'm putting four cars that are the same as the 599XX, as in they're track cars that should never be able to catch the top speed that this car can with the amount of downforce it has. So just before we start off, the 599XX Evo in Forza can make 1,400 horsepower, 940 pound-feet of torque, rear-wheel drive, it weighs 2,400 pounds, and has a top speed of 320 miles per hour. Now this shouldn't even be possible for the car, because just looking at it, it is generating downforce on a slight breeze. The car's weight should be doubled because of how much downforce this thing makes, but somehow it could go 320 miles an hour. I don't know why they decided this, but whatever. So these next four cars are cars in real life that could give it a run for its money, but with, you know, Forza's basic tuning, this these cars could easily outrun the 599. First off, we're starting with the Koenigsegg Jesco Absolute, this car's stock has 1,600 horsepower, 200 more than the Ferrari, 1,100 pound-feet of torque, weighs just over 3,000 pounds, and has a top speed predicted of 331 miles per hour. That stock is already faster than the Ferrari, and with Koenigsegg's typical weight reduction of a couple hundred pounds, you'd still be a little bit heavier than the Ferrari, but that power to weight would still just shatter it. Plus, it's actually aerodynamically made to go 300, unlike the Ferrari. Next we have is the Bugatti Chiron Supersport, the car that can go 300 miles per hour stock, the first one that did it and broke the internet a couple months ago. This car has, supposedly, 1,500 horsepower from what I looked up. I thought for sure it was 1,800 horsepower, but, I mean, what do I know? Google told me these things and I couldn't find the 1,800 number. It makes 1,100 pound-feet of torque, can go 304 miles per hour, and despite the weight being, you know, heavy, because Chiron's and Veyron's are heavy, in Forza, with the stock Chiron, you can make it go from 4,300 pounds, almost 4,400 pounds, all the way down to 3,100 pounds. So just that weight reduction alone could make the Chiron Supersport go to 320 and compete with the Ferrari. Now this next one, I can't see Forza making it any faster than it can actually go, but we have the Hennessy Venom F5 with its 1800 horsepower V8 making 1100 pound-feet of torque weighing 2900 pounds and a supposed top speed of 300 and uno miles per hour. I can't see them making this car any faster because 1800 is already a lot of horsepower unless we can pass the 2000 barrier with this car or if we can somehow drop even more weight out of a 2,900 pound car. And up next is a car that broke the internet more than the 300 mile per hour Chiron, which is the SSC Tuatara, with its 1,700 horsepower V8 making 1,200 pound-feet of torque, weighing 2,700 pounds, and a top speed of supposedly, and I'm not sure about the news of this car's top speed, but 331 miles per hour, they say it will do, and they got the record for. Now this car, you know, just being in the game would already shatter the Ferrari and just about anything speed-related. But, you know, put on some all-wheel drive, and you could probably decimate the Ferrari in literally anything. Now these next four cars are kind of like the 599 in the fact of they shouldn't be able to hit 300 miles an hour with the power that the Ferrari has because aerodynamics just wouldn't allow it. They're downforce track cars. It should just be physically impossible, but I'm going to list them anyway because these could be in direct competition with the Ferrari in, like, X-Class racing, if that was ever to be a thing. Because when it comes to maxed out cars, the Ferrari 599 is kind of unbeatable. So first off, we have the Gumpert Apollo with its 4.2 liter twin turbo V8 making 789 horsepower stock, and this could probably go up to 1300 and have the same top speed as the Ferrari. And you know, they would be 
pretty much identical. You got a mid-engine supercar that, you know, famously on Top Gear beat the Veyron's lap time around the Top Gear test track. And you could also make it as fast as the Ferrari, because let's be honest, the Ferrari shouldn't be able to go 320 miles per hour either. This next car, however, could be a actual first for this company's appearance in any video game, I think, but the Factory 5 GTM Supercar. And I know what you're thinking, why would they add a kit car? But here's the thing, it's a kit car, which means you can technically throw any engine in it in the whole entire game. So why can't we have the 1800 horsepower V8 engine from the RTR Mustang? Because just imagine you having that much more power over a Ferrari. You could probably let the car go 330 miles per hour without having it dig its ass into the ground with those weird tunes. So you could have a realistic 300 mile per hour car in the game. This next one might be doable with licenses because of how good of a relationship I think this company has with Forza, but they could have the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. And to make it go 300 miles per hour, they could give it the 1800 horsepower V12 from the Aventador Forza Edition car in the game, which, you know, can make 1800 horsepower. It would just make sense. And same reasons for the Ferrari going 320 miles per hour. We can just let it, because let's be honest, it's a freaking SVJ with 1800 horsepower. Let's just make it as fast as a Ferrari. And this next car, and keep in mind, I'm this car, out of the last three I've listed, this one wouldn't be able to turn, but I'm saying let this one absolutely shatter the speed record in the game and acceleration and drag times. Just let it destroy all the cars in this game straight line speed-wise. But we have the Hennessy Viper from the second generation of Viper. And I only say the second gen because the body kit looks cool as hell. You know, super retro. And back in the day, it was one of the fastest cars you could buy. Going over 215 miles per hour. And it was one of the quickest cars in the quarter mile and standing mile back in the early 2000s. Like, it, this car was just stupid quick. And what could make it even faster is there's a certain Dodge Viper named Juggernaut with 3,000 horsepower. So just imagine roll racing a Dodge Viper with 3,000 horsepower. It wouldn't have to turn like the Ferrari can. It wouldn't have to, you know, break as good as it, but just let it in a roll race be the fastest freaking car in the game. And the only way the Ferrari could keep up with it, say on like a highway run from the one roundabout to the start of the highway, is when it comes to the turns because the freaking Viper couldn't turn. And let it destroy the Shelby Monaco's quarter mile time because let's be honest, that car is kind of annoying at this point. When people pull out a freaking Shelby Cobra car with a freaking Lamborghini V12 in it. Plus, it could be a good way to break the barrier of horsepower in this game because there's a lot of motors in this game that should be able to make a thousand horsepower easy, but they can't. Plus, on next gen consoles, they can technically make any of these cars, like with a thousand or two thousand horsepower, go 300 miles per hour. I feel like that should be the next thing for Forza Horizon 5 is us having just blatantly faster cars and quicker cars too just because you know next gen consoles are that much more powerful anyway hope you enjoyed the video like rate comment and subscribe leave other cars in the comments that you think should be able to beat the ferrari at top speed of 320 miles per hour anyway hope you enjoyed the video i'm out peace